problem first of all we have to consider the neutral axis is lies in flange after that we have to check it is lies on flange or lies in wave so for this consideration xu is equals to 0.87 fy into ast by 0.36 fck into bf that is equals to 0 0.87 into 415 that is fy into 3041 that is ast by 0 0.36 into 20 that is fck into 954.54 that is bf which is equals to 159.75 mm and which is greater than df depth of flange that means our over assumption was wrong that means the neutral axis in this case is lies in web so now uh, we have to take another consideration the value of xu is slightly more than df therefore it may be the case is df greater than 3 7 of xu uh, therefore df by xu is greater than 0 0.43 now the depth of neutral axis can be found by equation 5 which is written in previous lecture in analysis that is 0.36 fck bw into xu plus 0.45 fck into yf within bracket bf minus bw is equals to 0.87 fy ast therefore 0.36 into 20 that is fck into 300 that is bw into xu is equals to 0 0.45 into 20 that is fck into yf within bracket 954.54 minus 300 that is equals to 0 0.87 into 415 into 3041 now uh, so therefore uh, 2160 xu plus 5890.94 yf is equals to 1097953 and we know yf is equals to 0 0.15 xu plus 0 0.65 df so that is equals to 0 0.15 xu plus 0 0.65 into 120 so yf is equals to 0 0.15 xu plus 78 so we have to put that value in the equation therefore 2160 xu plus 5890.94 within bracket 0 0.15 xu plus 78 that is equals to 1097953 therefore 2160 xu plus 883.64 xu plus 4594932.32 that is equals to 1097953 therefore 3043.64 xu is equals to 63845.68 so xu is equals to 209.76 so this is the position from top where a neutral axis lies it's a neutral axis lies so 3 seventh of xu is equals to 3 seventh of 209.76 is equals to 90.2 that is less than df so our assumption this assumption is right okay hence our uh, this assumption was correct so xu max is equals to 0 0.48 d that is equals to 0 0.48 into 5 580 that is equals to 278.4 mm now xu max is greater than xu hence the section is under reinforced okay so uh, yf is equals to 0 0.15 into 209.76 plus 0 0.65 into 120 that is equals to 109.46 mm now we can calculate moment of resistance which is asked in your question it is mu now as per para g2.3 of is code the moment of resistance is given by before before uh, do this let's check once para g2.3 of is 456 2000 look this is nx g of is 456 2000 in para g2 the assumptions which are 
expressed and discussed in previous lecture the link given below uh, and about this all assumptions formulas this is the all all things are given here and now we have to follow this formula for mu that is equals to 0 0.36 xu max by d within bracket 1 minus 0 0.42 xu max by d bracket closed fck bw d square plus 0 0.46 fck within bracket bf minus bw into yf within bracket d minus yf by 2 okay so this is the formula which is given and look yf also given here uh, is equal to 0 0.15 xu plus 0 0.65 df which is not greater than df so all these considerations are matched in our solution so let's solve the problem further so mu is equals to 0 0.36 xu by d within bracket 1 minus 0 0.42 xu by d bracket closed fck bw d square plus 0 0.45 fck within bracket bf minus bw into yf within bracket d minus yf by 2 that is equals to 0 0.36 into 209.76 that is xu by d 580 within bracket 1 minus 0 0.42 into 209.76 by 580 into 20 that is fck into 300 that is bw with of wave into 580 square that is small d square plus 0 0.45 into 20 that is fck within bracket 954.54 that is bf minus 300 that is bw multiplied by yf that is 109.46 within bracket d is 580 minus yf is 109.46 by 2 that is equals to 2228712021.5 plus 33962949.3.5 that is equals to 5625006.95 newton mm that is equals to 562.5 kilonewton meter so here is our answer mu the ultimate moment of resistance is 562.5 kilonewton meter here the problem is complete solution of the problem is complete that's all for this lecture thank you